Have you noticed that your testicles have gotten a lot bigger recently? Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Chan, a urologist based near San Francisco. In this video, I'm going to go over five common reasons or causes of why your testicle is enlarged. Number one, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Most people are concerned that this enlarged testicle is cancer. And testicle cancer is something that can happen to men at any age. It usually presents as this painless, large, hard mass in the testicle. That's why it's important to do these testicular exams every once in a while, just to make sure that there's nothing new. And if there is, go see your urologist and get it checked out. Some of the things that we do to make sure that it's testicular cancer is get a scrotal ultrasound, which will get us a good picture of what's inside the testicle, much better than a physical exam. And then some lab work. There's these things called testicular tumor markers that are elevated whenever somebody has testicular cancer. If you're sexually active, then something that you might want to consider is infection, like some sexually transmitted infection like gonorrhea or chlamydia. That's one of the common non-cancer causes of enlarged testicles being epididymitis or orchitis, which is an infection of the testicle or the epididymis. In younger men, it's usually associated with sexually transmitted infections like gonorrhea or chlamydia. And normally we'll do some lab tests and treat these with antibiotics. In older gentlemen, you can also get these type of infections, but they're usually more related to bacteria that are found in the urinary tract, like E. coli. And once again, you can treat these with antibiotics. Next, number three, hydrocele. Now, in this scenario, the testicle itself isn't enlarged, but the fluid surrounding it has gotten a lot bigger. And so it seems a lot larger. The causes of hydrocele's are that infection can sometimes cause it, or if the testicle lining isn't absorbing as much fluid as it is producing, and it can kind of build up. One interesting way that we can check to make sure that this is a hydrocele and not a tumor is to shine a flashlight on the scrotum. And if it lights up, then it's more likely a hydrocele. We always want to check a ultrasound of the scrotum just to make sure that there's not some type of testicular tumor underneath all that fluid. Number four, hernia. Sometimes you can get a herniation of your intestines through the inguinal canal that go all the way down into your scrotum. Sometimes this can be a surgical emergency if the intestines in the scrotum end up twisting and the blood supply to that piece of tissue ends up getting cut off. A good exam, as well as an ultrasound of scrotum will help differentiate this. It would be good to meet with a general surgeon to check it out. And then finally, number five, hematoma, which is a big blood clot. So if you've been kicked in the testicles or underwent some type of testicular trauma, like smashed it against the fence or on your bike, the testicle can sometimes bleed. And this blood can fill up the surrounding spaces around the testicle and make it seem more enlarged. Now things that it would lend you to think that it's something like this is, well, if you got hit by in the testicles, you would probably know. And there also might be some bruising around the skin of the testicle. Well, there you go. Those are the five common reasons for why your testicles are enlarged. Now there's more, and there's some that are a little bit more life organ threatening, like testicular torsion. So if you're experiencing a lot of pain, you should definitely go to the emergency room and get checked out immediately. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.